Hi and welcome back. And we're still all about solving quadratic equations. And here's what we know so far. We've talked about factoring to solve a quadratic formula and we know that not every uh, quadratic will factor. In the previous section we saw that we can complete the square but what we're going to introduce today, which will always work, is the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula works on any case at all, even ones that don't factor. And in some times it's easier than completing the square, especially if you have a messy problem like the previous one we did, in which the coefficient on x squared is not 1. Then it's a little messy to complete the square. So let's look at a situation in which we have a very general quadratic equation. And that would look like this. ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And in order for this to be a quadratic equation, we'll insist that a is not equal to 0. Right? So here is the general form of a quadratic equation equation. And what we want to do is, in terms of a and b and c, express the solution. And so what we're going to do, even as this is ugly as it is, is go ahead and complete the square on this. And so the way we do that, <clears throat> we'll subtract c from each side, and then we'll divide through by a, And now I want to complete the square. So I complete the square by taking half of this. And half of that is going to be b over 2a. And then squaring it and adding it to both sides. And so what I get then when I square b over 2a is b squared over 4a squared. And I add that to both sides. So now, even though it may not be obvious, I have a perfect square on the left. And it is x minus, I'm sorry, x plus b over 2a squared. If I square that, I'll get what's directly above it. On the right side, if I get a common denominator, which would be 4a squared, what that means is I have to multiply top and bottom here by what I need to multiply a by to get 4a squared, and that will be 4a. And then if I write it with this coming first, do all those things, this is going to be b squared minus 4ac. Okay, then I take the square root of both sides and I get x plus b over 2a is equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And so finally, I can rewrite this by subtracting b over 2a from both sides, and notice the denominators are going to be the same. I get my final solution, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this is the quadratic formula. So what it means is, if we have any quadratic equation like this, the solutions, the values of x that make that true, that make ax squared plus bx plus c equal 0, are given right here. And I just got to plug in what a and b and c are, and I'm home. So I'll give you a couple of examples, but this is the quadratic formula, and what I gave you here is the proof. And the proof is kind of nice that it does work. But the really important thing is to remember the quadratic formula. Okay, so here's a pretty ugly looking quadratic equation. 
we would not want, well, we probably couldn't factor that, and we wouldn't want to have to go through and complete the square. So I've written down the quadratic formula right here. What we need to do is identify what a and b and c are. So a is 3, b is minus 8, and c is minus 7. So all I do now is I very carefully plug into the quadratic formula. And x is equal to minus b, minus a minus 8, plus or minus the square root of b squared, minus 8 squared is 64, minus 4 times a times c, and all of it over 2 times a. a is 3, so 2 times a is 6. So now we do some simplification. x is equal to 8 plus or minus the square root of 148 all over 6. And 148 has 4 as a factor. And so the square root of 4 is 2. And I'm left with the square root of 37. 4 times 37 is 148 over 6. And now we got to be really careful here how we simplify this. And I always think that the way that you simplify so that you don't make mistakes is think about multiplying top and bottom, in this case, by a half. And what that gives me as my final solution is x is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 3. And that's the solution that we get by using the quadratic formula. So let's summarize what we know. And we actually talked about this before. There are basically three steps to the strategy for solving a quadratic equation. And the first one is factor if possible. If we can't factor, the next step is complete the square. And this is best if my coefficient on x squared, which is a, is equal to 1. And finally, you know, if you just want to cut to the chase, use the quadratic formula. And that'll always, always work. Okay, so that's our strategy for solving a quadratic equation. All right, see you next time. Keep working hard. You're almost done.